Yellow Brick Rabbit. Hey, Jeremy, can't watch the stream often here in Netherlands. Wanted to say thank you because you convinced me to start my own channel and stop being silent about the stuff going on with the media. Well, thank you, Yellow Brick Rabbit. I appreciate that. I appreciate the fact that you tune in from the Netherlands. Um, and yeah, if there's anything I can, you know, inspire anybody to do in terms of what I went through, again, I've always been the guy that you see on this channel in terms of personally and privately, but publicly, you know, with Geeks and Gamers, I didn't want to speak out against a lot of this stuff because these SJWs will brand you. They will brand you a racist. They will brand you a sexist. They will call you all types of names. And that does reflect on your public life. That reflects on your family. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's a decision you have to make. And so for several years at Geeks and Gamers, I was not willing to really, I was very opinionated and I did let my thoughts be known but I held back a lot. I held back a lot because I just didn't want to be branded a racist and a sexist by these crazy fucking people. But eventually enough's enough and you just have to just tell it like it is. And again, being a Trump supporter, I didn't want that to get out. I didn't want people to know the guy that ran Geeks and Gamers as a Trump supporter because I knew what they would do to that. But fuck them. I got to a point where I was like, fuck them. They can kiss my ass. And if they want to try to weaponize my opinion on politics against me, then I'm just going to take it and shove it up their ass. I don't care anymore. The racist and the sexist bullshit, it means nothing anymore because these SJWs have ruined those terms. They don't carry any weight. They apply it to anybody that disagrees with them. And I got to a point where I wasn't going to let them intimidate me anymore. I wasn't going to be intimidated by what you were going to label me. I wasn't going to do it. And trust me, I've been labeled a racist and a sexist consistently by these crazy motherfuckers on all of these different places. You can find it. You can look. I'm a, I hate women. I hate minorities. I'm, I'm a right wing racist nut job. I'm an alt writer. I've heard it all. Um, I've been compared to uh, Alex Jones and all these other people that they try to demonize. You, you either got, you've got to make a decision. To, I'm not saying you have to do this, but you have to understand what you're getting involved in if you're going to speak out because they will brand you. They will brand you. Do you think the other Star Wars YouTubers agree with you on Lucasfilm? Uh, I mean, there's some that do and there's some that clearly don't. And I'm fine with the ones that don't agree with me. Um, I'm fine with the ones that really don't like me for some reason. I don't have anything against them. I wish them all the best. I Again, a lot of these guys I've watched for a long time. And um, does it does it make me does it does it upset me that they are so angry with me not really uh it's a little disappointing because like i said i've been a fan of a lot of these channels for a long time but it doesn't bother me it's all good like i get it i just wish that uh we could all understand like i get it there's a difference of opinion and they see things one way and i see things another way and nobody's necessarily right or wrong in the big scheme of things i'm right as far as I'm concerned and they're right as far as they're concerned. And there are things going on at Lucasfilm that need to be called out and I will call them out. And I say these things as a massive Disney fan. I love Walt Disney World. I'm never going to stop saying it. I love it. I've always loved it and I'm always going to love it. I'm not going to let what Lucasfilm is doing affect my love of that theme park. I genuinely love it. I'm a fan of Disney. I like most of their content. I'm not blind to what they produce. So if they produce shit, I'm going to say it's shit. But I'm still a fan at the end of the day. So sometimes I may have fanboy glasses on. And that's fine. I can admit that. There's nothing wrong with admitting that. We all go into things biased. We all look at things differently. And we all have a different reason for having these opinions. So uh, I think that what we should do as YouTubers is try to start having some common ground and try to create some dialogue because YouTube doesn't need to be a war zone. The mainstream media is already going after YouTubers. The mainstream media is constantly trying to discredit YouTubers. So we don't need to discredit each other as YouTubers. We have to have respect for each other. We have to have common respect. We have to figure out a middle ground because the mainstream doesn't want us to succeed because they don't control us. So as long as we are infighting with each other, that's giving the mainstream what they want. The mainstream is dying. The mainstream media is dying every day. And when something is dying, it becomes desperate. 
So the mainstream is becoming desperate right now. They cannot compete with YouTubers because YouTubers aren't controlled. And they are. Everything the mainstream says is controlled. It's pre-written. And there's this culture that doesn't allow them to think for themselves. We don't have that problem on YouTube. We're all individuals and we make up our own minds. So all I'm saying is to all the YouTubers out there that think that I'm their enemy, I'm not. I'm your ally because I wish you and your channel nothing but the best, even if you hate my guts, even if you've taken shots at me, even if in the past I've responded in the wrong way. When you have a YouTube channel that goes and gains like 20,000 subs in like a few months, it's a little overwhelming. And there were a few instances that I handled wrong when they came up. That's part of growing. That's part of becoming better at what you're doing. Um, I know a lot of people are going to always hold me accountable for all of the things I did, the way I handled some of those situations in the past and how I reacted. And that's fine. Those are people that don't understand that people grow, people change, people, you know, learn from the error of their ways. And so some of the ways I handled some of the past YouTube controversies, I did it and I own it and it happened and I've learned from it. And now as someone that is hopefully heading towards the 100,000 goal and by the end of the year, hopefully. I take that seriously and I take the following we have seriously. And I know people listen to what I say and they, uh, you know, you guys take what I say seriously and I take that seriously. And I have to think about that. When I first started doing this, I was just talking, like I was just letting it fly and I'm still letting it fly. But when I'm letting it fly, I'm also thinking about the impact that we could, I could be having on what Lucasfilm could potentially be doing. And I'm not saying I do have an impact, but there's potential that we could. And I want that to, I want those words to mean something. And so anyway, oh my goodness. I'm, I just keep, I just keep, I just keep going. Cause you're all just keep dragging me. In. <laughs> um, all right. There's super chats. There's super chats. Let's see David and see what you guys are talking about. Fan service. I don't like when they talk about fan service, like fan service, what is fan service to me? Like whenever they do something that honors the mythology, they claim it's fan service. What, what do you mean it's fan service? It's honoring the story. That's what it is. Honor the story. It doesn't mean you have to do every single thing, but honor the story. That's, that's what fan service is, is honoring the story the proper way. And so that's how I look at it. So whenever I hear like a lot of people are saying, oh, they're going to go all fan service in episode nine. So you mean they're actually going to do what they should and honor the story? Because that's exactly what that sounds like to me. That's what fan service is. It's doing what's right by the story. That's what fan service is.